for a pediatrician you are like sherlock holmes because you have to identify what the problem is going on without even uh, talking to the patient so i think those who are interested in the diagnostic part those who are interested in uh, who are passionate about kids they should definitely take pediatrics hello everyone and welcome to medical unscripted i am dr shivam sharma from ss medical college hospital and today we have a very special guest dr ryan mcclean disuza dr rmd he is also on youtube and uh, he is a pediatric resident from pgimer dr rml hospital new delhi hello dr ryan hello dr shivam yes uh, okay so first of all i want you to introduce yourself to our audience hi everyone uh, i am dr ryan mcclean disuza uh, also known as dr rmd on youtube Uh, i am a third year pediatric uh, pg resident from uh, pgm dr rml hospital new delhi and uh, uh, i am excited for this uh, interview okay thank you so much dr ryan to join us today uh, it will help most of the neat pg aspirants in upcoming counseling to choose their dream branch so this program uh, of ours is known as my dream branch my first question to you is uh what inspired you to choose pediatrics uh, so this is a question which i get frequently so at the end of my internship i was yes. uh, uh, aware that i am interested in a clinical medical type of field so i had uh, three four options in yeah. my hand and uh, uh, then i uh, realized that uh, i am going to get a good uh, pediatrics uh, seat in a, uh, like stem college in delhi so seeing all benefits of a, a clinical seat in a prime institute in a prime location uh, and uh, my uh, more uh, uh, flexible uh, sorry my more interest towards uh, uh, diagnosis and that stuff so i chose pediatrics uh, and it's a very good branch because uh, you deal with uh, small cute babies <laughs> yes <laughs> yes can you share uh, a particular Uh, any rewarding experience you have in uh, your residency yes i had uh, some uh, very uh, heart touching experiences uh, recently a few yes. months back i was posted in uh, pediatric icu uh, you know i feel the worst disease is uh, guillain barre syndrome gbs that is because uh, okay. uh, children uh, who uh, like usually they run they are uh, perfectly fine and uh, within one or two days they become bedridden they go on ventilator support and it takes takes uh, one month two months sometimes even six months for their recovery so we had a child like this who was around uh, 12 years old male and uh, uh, he was actually suffering from gbs and uh, he was in the pic for around uh, one and a half month and he was slowly recovering and one day he could move his uh, hands and the next day when we came for rounds uh, he was with a pen and a paper and he was writing some things he was he was still connected to ventilator oh, wow. on tracheostomy tube but still he was able to write uh, he was a very good artist also so and uh, he had written a okay. thank you letter you just imagine he has not gained full weight power yes. of his limbs upper limbs but still he was able to write a letter and in that he had thanked all the doctors for treating him and uh, yes. uh, all the care that were given to him that was like a heart touching moment for me Yes, that is what you want from a branch. It's not only about money. It's not only about uh, 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 the things we are doing in OPD, but it's it's feeling. Uh, Ryan, uh, my next question to you is: uh, What is pediatrics, and why a neat PG aspirant should choose uh, this branch? Pediatrics is basically uh, in basically involves uh, uh, medicine part of uh, uh, children who are less than eighteen years. Uh, in some colleges, uh, some institutes, uh, cut off of twelve years is used, but uh, till seventeen years, a pediatrician is able to confidently look after. so pediatrics as a different specialty has its own role because no other clinician is able to uh, treat kids it's not like kids are mini adults they are not yes. their physiology is entirely different and uh, when you treat a kid from yes. uh, uh, you will be treating across various age groups because the physiology of a neonate is very different from a physiology of an infant very different from a physiology of a toddler and age going uh, school going age and different from adolescent so you get to deal a wide variety of patients in pediatrics if uh, uh, someone is uh, choosing a branch Uh, in need pg so uh, why he should think about pediatrics in a student point of view yeah yes. so from student point of view uh, those people should take pediatrics who are definitely interested in kids passionate about kids and also those people who are interested in diagnosis because pediatrics mainly deals with diagnosis uh, and uh, i would say that pediatrics is difficult than medicine because in medicine you have people who talk who tell about their problems for a pediatrician you are like sherlock holmes because you have to identify what the problem is going on without even uh, talking to the patient like <laughs> you can't expect a patient to return and tell that i'm uh, having fever or uh, i'm having uh, uh, pain in my legs you can't you just have to uh like you get you need to get it out of the patient so that's why i think those who are interested in the diagnostic part those who are interested in 
uh, who are passionate about care, they should definitely take pediatrics. Yes, definitely. Uh, so, uh, what are some common misconceptions you uh, deal with uh, about this branch and people ask you about? Yes, the misconception that I deal with first is uh, many people uh, ask me like, uh, uh, isn't pediatric uh, a very low paying branch? So I would say it's not because every medical field is saturated in one way or the other, but it all depends on how much passionate you are and how much clinical skills you have. Yes. So it's nothing about payment, uh, nothing right. regarding that. So you'll see top, uh, if you see 1% of top earning doctors, you'll find pediatricians among them also. So that is one common misconception that I come across. And second is uh, uh, people ask me like, isn't pediatric difficult because it requires a lot of patience and how do you handle kids and all. It should be difficult if I'm not yeah. that sort of person. But I'll tell you, I was also not that that sort of a person. I was one who was like straightforward. Okay. I was little uh, uh, um, rash and I was a bit uh, gross in my uh, uh, work. But uh, after coming to pediatrics, I have learned that patience. I have learned uh, the fine skills. I have learned how to play with kids. So so it changes you as a personality. Yes. So what about the work-life balance in pediatrics because it's too hectic in residency? So pediatrics is one branch where it should be at the tip of your toes because in medicine an old patient comes or in any other branches like uh, some maybe like 50 years person comes who uh, stay uh, who has some uh, who has come to you uh, you can make him wait for like 10-15 uh, minutes but parents are so anxious first of all dealing with parents is very difficult so parents are parents are very anxious yes. so uh, whatever case comes however minute the problem will be you are always expected to be at uh, uh, emergency or you should be uh, catering to the uh, patient so that's why i feel pediatrics is uh, uh, hectic not just because of uh, uh, like the work that is related but because of the urgency that it creates uh, even though the patient is fine still you need to get a good care of the patient so uh, I, that's why i feel it is pretty hectic during residency it's hectic but uh, even after residency also you should be at the tip of your toes yes true uh, so ryan uh, what are the future opportunities and uh, in DM program, uh, what you can, uh, in which subjects you can go uh, in DM or in fellowship or any uh, other choices you made after uh, your MD pediatrics? Yeah, one of the reasons why I chose MD pediatrics uh, against medicine was because MD pediatrics has made much flexible options. That is because just after MD, you can set up your own clinical practice, you can open your own hospital or you can open a nursing home. You can just set up a clinic, you don't need anything else because pediatrics is one which demands very less investment. Secondly, just after uh, yes. your, this one, you can do senior residency, you can go into teaching field, you can go into academics. Third is post MD, you can go into fellowship. There are various fellowships that are available. Pediatrics is still a relatively end branch. But those who want higher studies, upcoming okay. pediatrics uh, super specialties are coming up. Uh, and right now, we have almost every pediatric yes. super speciality into effect. Not only in uh, uh, institutes of national importance, even in other colleges also, there are many uh, like pediatric super specialties that, that are coming up. And in next 10 years, this super specialty are going to rise uh, and how much you can earn after MD pediatrics uh, not after DM but after MD pediatrics uh, in uh, in a particular private hospital or private setup or in a corporate hospital in government hospital etc uh, I would say once you are a renowned pediatrician sky is the limit <laughs> Yeah, but, is also not valid for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so once the parents get confidence in you they will show the child to you only till the child is an adult so yes, uh, coming true. to government jobs uh, uh, like immediately after md in uh, metro cities they pay you depending on the hospitals if it is a corporate setup you might get paid between 1 to 1 1.5 lakhs depending on the city uh, if you are joining as a senior resident, then that depends on the state. Uh, like in Delhi, it is uh, 1.5 lakhs uh, per month. Uh, if it is, uh, if okay. you plan to join a peripheral hospital somewhere in the periphery, uh, then as a like uh, uh, sole pediatrician, then you can you'll get paid around uh, uh, 2.5 to 3.5 lakhs per month. Uh, Ryan, last but not the least, but uh, what advice will you give to a neat PG aspirant who is going to upcoming uh, counseling sessions? Uh, please enlighten them uh, with your words. Yeah, so uh, I see that there is a lot of confusion regarding uh, NEET PG uh, counseling. So first thing is, uh, you should have, uh, you should not forget what were your passion was. Like before the exam, before the result came, you would have had some branch in your mind. 
that branch is a passionate branch you shouldn't forget that because once you don't get a good rank or once if you even if you get a good rank you automatically change your uh, uh, dream branch according to your rank that shouldn't happen second is you shouldn't be sub, uh, you shouldn't succumb to peer pressure because someone else is taking radio doesn't mean you should also take radio someone else is taking uh, not taking non surgical branch uh, sorry surgical branches that doesn't mean you should uh, not take surgical branches third is you shouldn't get carried away with the misconceptions common myths which are there you should get verified uh, properly verified fourth is you should you should be uh, uh, you should have all your documents ready and not commit any silly mistake in terms of document because you would have done everything and then when you report you would have realized that there is some uh, document missing or you have, your names are wrong in the document so these are some of the silly mistakes which you can avoid and a proper decision regarding which college to join make a proper priority list and choice selection there shouldn't be any hurry you should have plan a in your hand if plan a doesn't work then you should have plan b that doesn't work plan c so everything should be in a planned manner to avoid panic at last moment yes uh, thank you so much dr ya uh, it will help lot of neat pg aspirants to choose their uh, dream branch uh, thank you so much uh, yes it is good talking to you dr shivam <laughs> i had a very good experience with this interview let this help the students yes, who are so uh, watching this for uh, upcoming and as well as for uh, during upcoming years also so if you want more videos like this then subscribe to medically unscripted